My name is Gemma White. I am currently a trainee solicitor and I'm currently working in the course of protection team. My main tips for studying anything to do with court protection would be to start by actually applying it. So I would probably go online, find the forms, have a look over them and actually just try and be quite practical about it because it's quite a hands-on practical kind of job. Um, I wouldn't necessarily um, recommend buying a textbook and reading it cover to cover because the textbook will never cover every single circumstance you're going to come across. Um, when I was at school I had a teacher that actually really inspired me. He had previously been a um, lawyer himself and then had retrained as a teacher and he just had a completely different way of thinking to all my other teachers. He was a very logical and practical person and he just really inspired me actually to want to be a lawyer myself and just be more like him so that's what inspired me and that's what made me want to be a lawyer as I just felt like he was just such a problem solver and that's what I wanted to be. So um, I was drawn to the court protection role um, initially based on the fact that you basically care for people and do legal work at the same time. It's like a dual role. I get so much job satisfaction out of working in the court protection team and I get to go home every single day knowing that I've done a really good thing for somebody. Even if that person doesn't necessarily completely understand or know what I've done, I know that I've done a really good thing for someone. There's a real benefit to the firm to support us um, through our training because it leads to fantastic job satisfaction, it boosts morale, but also you're supporting that person to train and progress in their career and then hopefully stay with Wilson Brown for the entirety of their career because you guys have helped them to be the lawyer and to train them to be exactly how you want them to be as an employee um, as part of the firm. I really enjoyed studying my course online. It gave me great flexibility. It meant that I could do it around my working hours. It meant that I didn't have to travel to a place to learn. I could do it at home. I could do it in the office. Um, I could really do it wherever I was if I just needed to get my laptop out and just sign on. Um, so I think that there's great benefits to managing your course online and having that flexibility. So when I started my online course, I made sure that I started by producing a schedule and making sure that I stuck to that the whole time um, that I was studying. I made sure to even schedule breaks and downtime so that I didn't overdo it or burn myself out. So my biggest advice to anyone who's going to be studying a course solely online is to have a schedule, schedule downtime and stick to it. So um, I had to prioritise my job and my learning online um, during the bulk of the two-year course. Um, the way I got through it really was that it was only two years and I had to sacrifice a little bit of my social life or maybe seeing everyone and doing everything that I wanted to do during them two years. But I, like I say, I always scheduled some downtime, always made sure that I had something scheduled in that week, even if it was um, only a couple of hours to just do something for myself or with somebody that I wanted to. So during my time online, um, I had a schedule which, which was basically every day I would wake up at around six o'clock in the morning. I would sit down and make sure I did a solid one and a half hours of studying before I got ready and came to work. And then I would do my day at work, come home. I would have some downtime, so have some dinner, maybe watch a bit of TV. And then around about 8 p.m. I would do another hour or an hour and a half of studying again on a typical work day. And then I tended to schedule in one full weekend every month, which was dedicated to studying or catching up on things that I may have not got around to doing during the week. Um, or, you know, two like Saturdays or two Sundays a month if my, um, schedule needed to be um, slightly amended but I made sure I dedicated two full days nine to five to study and to make sure everything was completely up to date. If I could give myself one piece of advice when before I started all my training would be be more confident. I lacked so much confidence in myself I didn't think I would make it I really thought I just it was just a bit of a dream and I would never achieve it and I think I held myself back um, maybe by a couple of years really in the sense that I didn't know if I wanted to start my LPC, didn't know if I wanted to work in a law firm, wasn't sure if it was for me. But as soon as I grew that confidence and believed in myself, I flourished massively um, in my particular role. If I could give um, someone advice about, doing their, about their career in law, I would say that do an online course, it offers you so much flexibility, it's so much easier than having to factor in all that travel time or that additional time. I think my other words of advice would be 
Um, try not to focus on things that you don't think will actually help you at the end. You know, don't waste your time on a mind map or bullet points if you're never going to read them again or you're never going to use them. Really savour your time and I think the online courses really give that benefit. They, they enable you to save time, they enable you to have more personal time, more social time um, and like I say, you get to work it around you. If you have an evening where you don't want to do anything, you don't have to, but you just need to make sure that you're factor your time in to make sure you get everything done that you need to.